Welcome back to Farn with Family. We're gonna go spray some corn. I got about enough for 115 acres loaded up here. So I got one field a couple miles from my place that I'm gonna go do and then come back. I had started spraying the other day um, before the weekend and then I finished on the 80 across the road from my house. So I sprayed out what I had left there, kind of hit the worst spots. And then once I get done with this load on the other field, I'll bring it down here and um, do what I have left and mix up some more. Well, didn't get any video of spraying corn because corn I don't have auto steer so I just follow the rows and a little bit too much to look at and try to film at the same time so sorry for that but we're done spraying corn now we're getting the sycamore hooked up. Got my alfalfa that I planted last year that's just about ready to cut so we're getting this hooked up I'm gonna head up there tonight and see if we can get some cutting started tonight. First I got to switch from the 1000 PTO to the 540 so I gotta swap those two. Not actually too bad to change. There's a snap ring, hold the PTO in place. This is the one I just took out. This is what the back side looks like. So you just pop that out, pull the other one out, put it back in. This one goes up there. On these, let's see, the 40, on all the series, like 30, 40, 50 series. They came with uh, two different sizes PTOs for the, maybe a 40, 30, a 40, 230 a 4430 but then if you go to the 46 and up then those just have a big thousand pto so that's one of the nice things about these size of tractors is that you can uh switch out the ptos for whatever implement you're pulling with it okay let's go cut down some alfalfa and make a little cow chow all right it's cutting pretty good first cutting is looking nice Get the same uh, cutting bar on my sickle mower from last year and seems to be chopping it off pretty easily. I should figure out how to do my GPS and do auto steer on this, but don't know if that would work very well. So we'll just steer. All done cutting for the night. Now it's to make the mad dash out to the four wheeler because all these bugs are trying to attack the tractor. This is going to be fun. They're not mosquitoes, they're just those nasty ones that get in your face and your mouth and your nose. Four wheelers over there. Can't you see it? Not too far. I'll make it. All right, we're back here. Gonna cut some more hay today. Got Maya with me. Got Vaughn with me. Nolan's over there. Brought a blanket for them to lay on and a tarp. Cooler with snacks and stuff. Tractor's warming up. These are bales from last year. You gotta either sell or take home. Grasshopper! Oh, did you find a grasshopper? Yeah. Oh. But I'm gonna go start cutting, guys. You call me on the radio if you need something. Hi, how do you like sickle mowing? Are we cutting alfalfa? Yep. It's working pretty good. Getting more cut down. Got the 2630 out. I'm gonna use this to do the raking. So in a couple days when the hay is dry enough, I'm gonna use this to rake. Made it to the other uh, little sliver of the field. It's on this back corner. Still cut pretty good. Okay, we got the main part of the field cut down. We ran up to town, ordered some lunch. Now we're gonna have burgers. Maya's having a sandwich and some fries. Beautiful day outside. Well, we got the rake up here. We got the tractor and baler up there. 
We're gonna start raking our hay. We checked it this morning, it was too wet. Then within a couple hours, it went to being too dry and we tried to rake a few passes and tunnel leaves were falling off and then you lose your feed value. So we waited till evening. So hopefully the dew's gonna set in here pretty quick. We're gonna go back to the one corner, uh, get that raked up. Since we cut that about last, so hopefully that has a little bit more moisture content to it and the leaves stay on better. And then we're gonna bail, so it'll be maybe late night, but there's a good chance of rain coming, so I'd much rather get it now and maybe lose some of the leaves instead of have it get rained on and plastered to the ground. But we do get a nice sunset to watch. That's one nice thing. We almost have this back corner done. The other windrow's over there, now we're just doing the ends. So far it's working pretty good. The leaves seem to be staying on the stems pretty decently. So we'll finish this up, then we'll go to the main field. Oh. 